Okay, so here we are with part three of the reading. So in this part of the reading, we're really going deep and uh, it is um, continuing on really from the energy of part two, where um, we're speaking about um, going through a collective dark night of the soul, where we um, are going into really into the darkness, meeting the darkness, um, dealing with the corruption, dealing with all that's not not right in the world, and finding answers and finding our way through the darkness to the light. And in this part three, we really go do go deeper into that. So if you're someone that doesn't want to uh, really deal with that um, shadow aspect, this might not be for you. Um, personally, I believe that's um, necessary, but this is what this is what came through with the reading that I'm going to share with you. And uh, I found this part of the reading really does um, have a lot of spiritual fire in it and uh, speak to, you know, what, what, um, what's going on right now and uh, what's needed. And so hopefully this is of some help to you at this time. On the reading part three. Part three is uh, came through of the reading came through from Angel Samuel and Archangel Metatron. Um, the first part is about the shadow self, and it refers to the past. The first card that came up in the reading, or well, this is part three. So the card that came up in the reading is the about the past represents the past, and the card that came up is the shadow self. So the past that has then brought us to where we are now and the past was the shadow self. The collective, I believe this refers to the collective shadow of society, of humanity, to all that we have collectively allowed, we've refused to acknowledge, refused to look at, refused to take responsibility for, refused to take time to deal with the misuse and corruption of power, the injustices, the abuses of human rights, and that this has grown like a rot and a sickness at the root of society and of its governments, its organisations and systems, like a poison filtering through into all aspects of life and society and into the hearts and minds of men and women and children. We have allowed this through our inattention in attention and in action, and this corruption and evil has now gained power. In the darkness and in this time, it is coming to the surface, rearing its heads like some sort of many-headed dark monster that is out of control. And now we are finding ourselves dealing with this shadow and its ugly faces through the tyranny and oppression of the people by governments and police, the lies and corruption of media, the power of corporations to control and dictate at all levels of society. We're seeing the shadow of humanity and society as a great scourge and evil upon the land that now has to be met, to be addressed by each of us in our own way. And in the place of the future, the card in the place of the future is Archangel Metatron and the children. The children are our future, and it is time to look to their care, to their nurturing and education. Once again, collectively as a society, as parents, we have given away much of our power to decide how our children spend their time, what they learn, what is important, what values they are taught. It is time to turn our attention to the children, to their care before it is too late. The children are our promise for the future. As the corruption and misuse of power of governments and state turns its attention to the children, to deciding what is for their good, to increasing the control of the state over every aspect of the child's life, it is time to look to what is needed for the true care of the children. It is time for society, for parents to decide, either to allow things to continue on this course or to take back their power to decide what their children learn, what is important, what values are taught and practiced, and what is for, for their good. So thank you for um, listening to part three of the reading. Thank you.